this. Today is April 7th and I am 35 weeks pregnant. That is so crazy. I usually sit down and film these during nap time, but I have been partaking in nap time as much as possible lately because I just am ready to crash by 1 p.m. So he's right here. <laughs> um, Whenever anyone usually asks me, you know, how are you feeling? How's pregnancy going? My general answer is always, it's great. Everything's going great. You know, I might say, oh, I'm starting to, you know, it's going by fast. Or I'll throw something else in there. But I try to never say anything negative to people when they mention, you know, when they ask how I'm feeling. Because I feel like too many women kind of treat pregnancy as an illness or, you know, something you have to tough it out. And I really do enjoy pregnancy. It's I think it's you know it's a blessing. It's an amazing time in your life. It's a miracle, and you don't you know you don't get to do it that many times or that often. You know it's you know, it's very very special. So I just don't like to build on the stigma of oh pregnancy. That being said, <laughs> it's start I'm starting to feel it a little bit. 35 weeks pregnant, like I said, I'm you know the tired. Tiredness is coming back, you know, that first tri trimester when you're like a zombie. And then, you know, I have been through the second trimester and a lot of the third trimester I've been bustling and getting it and going. But lately I have started to get um, tired again. It's kind of slowing down here at the end. Still five weeks left though, so five, four to six weeks we'll say. Um... My biggest, biggest complaint right now is my pelvic, hip, and pubic bone pain. Just like my tailbone and pubic bone especially. And um, it's really bad when I lay down. When I lay down to sleep. I've kind of been dreading going to bed a little bit. Which, you know, I'm really tired. But I don't want to lay down because I know it's going to hurt. Eventually. So I talked to the chiropractor about it this morning. And he worked on my round ligaments some. And, you know, we're going to keep doing that. I go back again on Friday. Today's Monday. So, that'll be a continuous thing. I'm trying to do more pelvic tilts and stretches. And less time, you know, sitting in the recliner. Or, you know, more time, like, hands and knees. That position. Because, like I said, he was anterior last week. So, we want to try to turn that away the other way. Let's see. Um, I've also... To be 100% honest, I've been pretty grouchy the past few days. Little things are bothering me and getting to me. <sighs> Poor Matt. Yesterday was his day off and I was just oh, a little toad most of the day. But towards the evening I did, I had a burst of happiness. But, I don't know, just little things getting to me. Every little thing just making me Ooh, mad. Yeah. But even though I've been also really grouchy, I've also been really, really enjoying my time with Logan. I, you know, I really soak in the, the cuddles I've been getting. I think, I don't know if I've mentioned, no, I haven't mentioned breastfeeding in several weeks. Logan is still breastfeeding. A yes. minimum. It's a kitty cat. It's a kitty cat. He is breastfeeding a minimum of two times a day. Really anywhere from two to anywhere from two to five times a day. And at bedtime and nap time, I'm nursing him in a sideline position. Um, I feel like I've mentioned this, but I guess I haven't. I don't know. I mentioned it in my day in the life. That's what it was. Um, I'm nursing him in a sideline position because my belly is just kind of big, and when we nurse in other positions, my kind of Braxton Hicks get worse. So. Lying down on my side, you know, it keeps the Braxton Hicks light, and we have room, and it's just cuddly, and if he falls asleep, I can just kind of lay here there with him a little bit longer, and so I've just kind of been really savoring the cuddles and the, you know, just the one-on-one -on -one time as his time as an only child kind of dwindles. Um, one thing I forgot to mention last week after my midlife appointment was something that was really, really special to me. Um, during the appointment, Logan was playing on my phone, and I looked down and I said, Oh, he changed my lock screen. It was, you know, a scripture about patience. And, you know, that triggered in her mind that I said something about scripture. And she said, Have I ever given you the list of verses that I really like for labor? And I said, No, you haven't. 
and so she started printing them out for me and that got us talking about scripture and you know our beliefs and in, in, in correlation with labor and it was just it was just awesome to know that the woman who is you know gonna be facilitating and in helping bring this child into the world is a Christian and if you you know if you know what I'm talking about you know that that just how great that feels she said she goes she doesn't share them with everybody because she doesn't want to offend anyone but that she said she told me that she does pray over all the babies even if the mamas don't know and it just I don't know it was like almost a it was a really really just awesome moment and just made me love her that much more um I really have been trying not trying thinking about I guess just kind of unplugging more from the world I really want to get spend less time on Facebook which I have been doing much better at that I have been getting on once a day or less there were days I didn't get on and so I really want to pull back from Facebook and you know I really kind of want to pull back from Instagram just a little bit but not a ton because that's kind of how I keep up with my family members really because we all live <clears throat> several hours away from each other and we see you know pictures of my sister's kids and my mom's stuff and she sees Logan and so but I just don't want to check it just quite so obsessively you know just every few hours you know couple times a day. I don't have to get on every, you know, 30 minutes or so. So I just, I just want to kind of pull back, spend less time on my phone, just put my phone away. If somebody calls me, I'll hear it. <coughs> spend more time with Logan, spend more time reading. Just kind of really unplug from the internet. It's kind of dragging me down, I think. Um. Go sit there. Oh, what? This has been eventful. So. I guess I'll go ahead and show you guys my belly and then see you guys next week for 36 weeks. That's crazy. Here is my pregnant belly at 35 weeks. I feel like this shirt's doing me some favors. I feel like I look much smaller in it. I posted a picture on Instagram last night that looked rather large. So, thanks, gray shirt. Yeah, bye, yeah, bye. All right. Thank you guys for watching, and tune in tomorrow for Veda number nine. And Logan, you want to say anything? Uh-huh. What are you going to say? Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys. Can you tell them bye? Bye.